Uh, nice to see you again. Okay, so as far as I understand, this uh, this call will be about uh, multi-signature accounts and also pure proxies, right? Yeah, that's it. I want to create a, a bounty with okay. a pure proxy uh, because if some of curators want to, to leave of the bounty, uh, can do it uh, uh, without to to need uh, to to do another referendum. You want to create a multi sig with a pure proxy, okay? Yeah, that's and it. you want to use that uh, pure proxy as um, beneficiary for the bounty, right? Right. Okay, so I think it's fairly. I mean, not not very complicated mm -hmm. to um, to understand. But um, let me let me explain. Okay, this is uh, Multix from uh, Chain Safe. Multix is a, a tool that is uh, used to create multi-signature accounts, and uh, it's developed by Thibault Sardan, and uh, it's a very nice guy. Um, if you ever um, have issues with the with the tool, please reach out to him. I will give you the the contact. Uh, at the end of uh, at the end of this call, Multix develops multi, uh, is to develop multi-sig using a pure proxy. So this allows you to to change the signatories, change the threshold without changing uh, the underlying address. You know the address that you will see will be always the the same one. Okay. The thing you need to do the first is to log in, and you can choose different um, different uh, networks. In this case, I'm using West End, but uh, the same stuff that I'm doing here will be the same for Polkadot and, uh, and Kusama. You're using Polkadot, so it will be the same on Polkadot. Great. We go under new multi-sig, and uh, in here, we need to specify the signatories, right? And it's telling you that uh, you should select at least two because we are doing a multi-sig. Mm -hmm. So if we connected, uh, now I connected my, my Polkadot.js extension and uh, as a consequence here, if I'm uh, clicking on address, it will fetch the visible addresses that I have in the extension. And uh, here I'm using uh, Alice, um, Bob and Charlie. So Alice, name Alice, okay, add, we add um, Bob. And then uh, we add uh, Charlie, okay? Now we have these uh, three addresses. Then uh, we click on next. Mm -hmm. And um, the threshold is, of course, how many people need to, um, to approve to dispatch any call. In here, we put uh, two out of three. And uh, the multi-sig name, I will call ABC. ABC multi-sig. Alice, Bob, and Charlie. And here uh, is um, we should uh, select this option. Use a pure proxy. It is also recommended. If we if you go in over on the um, info icon here, is uh, written using a pure proxy make the multi sig more flexible. You can then change the signatories without changing the proxy address. For more info, look at the video here. You can also go and look uh, at the video that they that they have done. And um, you click on next. And here there is basically a, a summary of the multi-sig. And uh, we can, we can uh, decide with um, which account we want to, we want to sign. Because uh, this multi-signature account, of, the multi-signature account is, um, how to say, like, uh, it's a keyless account. It doesn't have a key, a private key, because uh, the, the you're using the private keys of uh, the signatories mm -hmm. and um, and it is a, a deterministic account so it means that uh, it is built the address of the multi-sig is built with um, with uh, the threshold and uh, the address of the signatories you can always um, recover the multi-signature account anytime okay but here we are using a pure proxy so Usually, when you're building a multi-sig, there is no transaction involved. You're not paying for anything. You're just uh, building it with uh, the signatories. But here, we need um, 
we need the, the transaction because we are also creating a pure proxy. And here is telling you, you know, in the next step, you will send one batch transaction. And um, this is uh, to send funds to the new multisig required to create the pure proxy. So the multisig is creating the pure proxy. Okay. And I will explain a little bit better uh, later. And uh, it also, um, yeah, create the pure proxy. So other signatories will need to approve this transaction. So the other account, at least one, must approve this transaction after I, I create it, right? Okay. So I use Alice and click on create. And now here, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, the Polkadot.js extension with, uh, you know, the um, from where this, um, this call is coming from. And here is information about, uh, you know, what I'm doing. It's a keep alive transfer to the multisig, and then uh, create pure, creating the pure proxy. Okay, I sign. Okay, here you see the see. ABC multisig is ready. I I need to select it. Okay, mm -hmm. and we can see that uh, there is a pending transaction. So Multix is already telling you that uh, you need to. Um, to approve this proxy dot create pure call with another account within the multisig, so we submitted it with Alice, but we need to approve it with another account. Okay. Okay. So in this case, um, we can tap on review, and uh, we can sign with uh, Bob, for example. Okay. Okay. And um, proxy type any. I will explain this later. Approve. Now, if I go under overview, what we have done basically right now is we created the multisig ABC, okay? And then we also submitted a transaction. We created a pure proxy and the pure proxy is uh, the, becomes the proxied account. Okay. okay. You have to think that now the pure proxy is like um, a puppet. Okay, it's a puppet. Mm -hmm. It doesn't it doesn't do anything if you don't have the the master, and the master is the ABC. Okay. Okay. So the ABC is the proxy becomes the proxy account of the pure proxy. Okay. The pure proxy is basically the the puppet, and uh, the ABC is the master. So without the master, the puppet is lost. Okay. This okay. controls any, controls any, it means that the ABC is a any proxy of the pure proxy. Any proxy is the highest rank of a proxy, it can do everything. It can transfer, it can do all the stuff on behalf of, um, of the pure, which means that um, never use uh, Polkadot.js um, to do advanced stuff with uh, pure proxies, because if by mistake you remove the ABC, then you you lost forever the whatever you have in the pure. And what, one question, Filippo. If I want to, for example, pay chill bounties, we need to use Polkadot.js extrinsics to yes, pay exactly. the... No, yeah, you can use Polkadot.js for like uh, submitting extrin extrinsic like that. That uh, that of course, but to just uh, limit the amount of um, of using you know advanced stuff with uh, pure proxy that mm -hmm. you don't uh, you are not familiar with because uh, for example never never remove um, the um, never remove the the proxy. Okay. This, this ABC account should not be removed from the pure proxy um... before attaching another one. This is actually what is happening. When you basically change the signatories, in this case, when you base when you change the signatories, multix, what it does, it basically creates a new multisig. Okay. It attaches the multisig as any proxy to the pure, and then it detaches this one. It okay. creates a brand new multisig, but is doing this under the hood and uh, is uh, preventing you basically to do the mistake of removing the only any proxy mm -hmm. you know for example for this safer all this process and and some of the multi-seek can remove the the full proxy 
or the account and, and lost the funds, we can create another another member of this per proxy uh, because we always have two accounts, a multi-sig and a single account controlling the the pure proxy. Is it possible to do it? Yeah, you can. You can add. Uh, you can um, you can add another another proxy to to the pure proxy. This is what you mean, right? Yeah. But then uh, I mean it becomes you give a lot of power to that account. Okay. Is this what you want? Well, I, because, I, uh, to, I would, I, I would, uh, I would leave a structure like this. I would leave a structure with, um, with this yeah. type of uh, setup, where, of course, in the multi sig you can be more people. Yeah, you can be like five people in the multi sig. But for example, if, you know, if one of yeah. them remove the the account, will will we lose the? No. Why? Why? What do you mean? Remove the account? I don't know because you said. Uh, we we can remove the account and, and lose the the connection of the poor proxy. No, but yeah, but to remove the account, you need uh, at least two um, signatures from okay. this uh, multi. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I got it. You always okay. you always need the threshold. You know, if you have like uh, a multi sig that is bigger, like five people, you can put the threshold that is three. Okay. So you always need three approvals. You know, it's like. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. yeah. In in our case, will be seven curators and will be five signatories to approve the transaction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Got it. I wanted to to show you how you can add this into Polkadot.js. Okay, if you want to if you want to add the pure proxy in Polkadot.js, the first thing you need to do is to add the multi sig. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to add the multi sig into Pol Polkadot.js. Okay. So we go into multisig and we build the multisig as we build it in the multix. So it's Alice, Bob, and Charlie. The threshold is two and the name is ABC. Okay. And we click on, click on create. And now we have ABC here. Okay. okay. This is the multisig. Then if we want to now add the pure proxy, we uh, go on proxy. We need to add the proxy account. And here, the proxy account is the pure. OK, we click here. If you click on the icon, you can copy the address. Mm -hmm. And we paste it here. And then uh, we can call it ABC pure. And we click on add. OK. OK. So now here we have the ABC pure. So as usual in Polkadot.js, when you have proxies, you will have this, okay? You will have this badge. You can click on manage proxies and you can see the proxy account is the pure and the proxy account is ABC, is the multi-sig and the type is any, okay? This is the multi, the any, the any proxy. Okay. Okay. Never, ever do this and submit. Okay. Never do this because okay. you will lose the control of the pure. Okay. There should be at any time always a any proxy mm -hmm. attached to the pure at any time. And that's why you cannot do mistakes with multix because multix, you cannot do this. You know, like it's managing this. Um, under the hood for you and is making sure that uh, at any time you have the any proxy attached. Okay. Okay. Go so ahead. if you want to do a transaction, right? Um, I don't know, like you go under um, home and uh, new transaction. Okay. With this, now the pure, the pure doesn't have any funds. Mm -hmm. Okay. We cannot, we cannot do any, actually, we cannot do anything with it. So, we need to send some funds. So I'm basically sending funds from uh, Alice. And uh, I'm sending funds to the pure, ABC pure. And I'm sending, uh, I don't know, 10 Western tokens. Uh, now Alice has a proxy. We don't want to use it. And I sign. 
Okay, now the ABC Pure has 10 Western tokens. Okay. If you want to send a new transaction, you click on, uh, you see now you see also here the balance, 10. Mm -hmm. New transaction from the Pure, uh, I don't know, back to Alice, send the tokens to, um, uh, sorry, sign with Alice to, um, to Alice, back to Alice. And the amount is, I don't know, five Western tokens, okay? We click on send. I need to sign with Alice. And now we will see what's happening. Here, I have the batch. Mm -hmm. In Polkadot.js, it gives you the batch, right? That if you have, you have a pending approval, view pending approvals and stuff like that. We are not managing this here, okay? We manage this in Multix. We click on review and uh, we sign with uh, Bob. Okay, here um, we have uh, some information about what we are signing. And uh, it's a balance transfer keep alive to Alice of five Western tokens. Approve. And we sign. Okay. And you see here, done. Okay, five cent. And we don't have the batch anymore um, here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is how it works. Um, you can completely like manage the multi-sig part with uh, multics.